Hey everybody, I haven't done one of these in a long time. Here we have 20 different carts, wagons, and farm equipment things for your medieval Minecraft world. So let's go ahead and get into this. So this first one right here, I think it might be my favorite because it's just so simple. So I'm not going to do a full tutorial on every single one of these because you can pretty much tell how to build it uh, from this. But basically this is five fence gates all lined up. These are all fence gates right here. And then one fence post. The horse is attached to the fence post. And then we have these four trap doors here, these oak ones. And the oak trap doors are our wheels. And then we have the top right here. These are all, uh, as you can see, spruce trap doors. And I think this one's really effective. Looks very much like one that I saw um, on a Google image search for farm equipment. Here's another one. This one here is transporting a prisoner who for some reason is armed with a crossbow. <laughs> and this one here, we have these larger wheels where we've got some, uh, some oak trap doors like this that make up one large wheel. Now, obviously we can't make circles in Minecraft, but this I think is the next best thing to sort of a larger wagon wheel. And then these horses here are attached to the front with two uh, fence gates or two fence posts like that. Now, these horses are supposed to be pulling this thing, but they kind of kind of wander around. So it was hard to get the horses to go into the right place. But without the horses, it kind of looks a little strange. I suppose you could take the horses off and do that. But anyways, uh, this top part is just made of spruce trap doors, as you can see. And then we just have some iron bars literally put in a small circle within our little friend in here. And then I had to put a lid on it because uh, if I didn't put the lid, he was just jumping around. Here's another little wagon. We've got some trap doors here and then a slab right there. I like this one quite a bit. This is supposed to be kind of like the front of the wagon, if you will. So it's supposed to be attached to this thing, but you can't attach a fence gate to that. So I just was trying to create that illusion. If you look at it from like this angle, it does look attached. Um, yeah. Here's a little uh, wagon that is, it's like a barrel with wheels. <laughs> so underneath here we have a fence gate, like, oops. Underneath here we have uh, a fence, just some fence posts like that, and then they go to a post right there. I suppose we could have used the gates as well. Let me grab a gate, there's a gate, like that. You could also go like this, and then that works too, like that. And then it's being pulled by two pigs which is literally an image that I found on Google Images. Not a, not of Minecraft, but of an actual like medieval uh, artist rendering of, of a thing. And there was like a barrel on top of like a little cart that was being pulled by some pigs. So there you go. <laughs> That's kind of fun. This one here is a plow. So what we have here is a plow. So we have this front of the plow, which is two wheels. It's being pulled by a horse. And then there's this assembly here that kind of is uh, going in this part right here. These two fence posts right here are actually supposed to be the plow part. So then if we had like, um, like some farmland, like this, like the plow would be plowing the farmland and like, you know, be like behind it kind of, if you will, maybe something like that. <clears throat> you know, and there's, there's your plow. And then we have uh, a fence gate here that's open for a handle. Here's a wheelbarrow. So I used a fence gate here as a representation of our wheel. And then in the back, we have two signs on this uh, fence gate that's open. And that's kind of like the handles and also sort of the stand of the, of the wheelbarrow. On the bottom, just a couple of these trap doors. And then trap doors there for sort of the the basket of the wheelbarrow. Here's another kind of wheelbarrow looking thing, except it, it's exactly the same, except it doesn't have the, um, the signs and it doesn't have these trap doors on the top. There is a trap door right here. This is going to give it some dimension and size. And the wheel is underneath it instead of in the front. Here's another one. On this one here, we have two iron, uh, iron, whatever those things are called, iron bars as our wheel and then we have uh just a stair it's kind of the um wow <laughs> just a stair is kind of the like thing that it sits on uh here's another wheelbarrow like this very similar this trap door though the only thing is you can't put a trap door 
um, low enough so that you can set something on it and have the iron bars underneath it. So I had to kind of do this to it. Then we have a little hay bale, of course. Here's uh, yet another wheelbarrow design. This one actually has some dirt in it. This one's yet another one with some hay on top. This one's more like uh, this version over here. And then we have yet another one. This one I, I set it up backwards, <laughs> but it's just has some dirt and then two wheels like that as like a little cart. This one here, I really like this design quite a bit. The only thing is the horse doesn't stay put. Uh, the way that I have the horse uh, done is the lead is actually attached to a fence post that I buried in the ground to keep the horse in front of it. But basically we have, of course, the two fence gates, some chains going back to, and then this is just like one, let's see, I think it's like a, let's see, what, what would that be? One, two, three, five by two um, thing of slabs. And then on top of that, of course, the hay bales and then our sort of derpy wheels made out of these trap doors. I think that's pretty cool. Like that. That one actually looks really, like, realistic to me for some reason. Unfortunately, you can't get the horse to be exactly where you want him. Because the horse should be, like, right in here. And these things are, like, attached to the um, bridle or whatever you call it of the horse. Here's another plow. This is a very simple plow. Like this. So, so this part here is the actual plow that's digging into the, into the soil there. And then, um, of course, we have a, a fence post and then a slab and an open fence gate so the person plowing would hold on to this the horse would pull and the field would be plowed this one is another design where it has the wheel in front and this one actually is being pulled by two pigs <laughs> two pigs so we've got our wheels and then there's a, a trap door and then there's another trap door with a trap door on top of that and then a slab and then we have the um the handle here with the actual blade of the plow in the ground right there. I think that works pretty well. Here's another wagon that's pretty much the same as this one, except the front of it, instead of having those chains and stuff, it just has two uh, fences where the horses are tied. So I think that that looks like the horses could pull this. And then, and then yeah, and then I just put a bunch of barrels on it like that. That one's pretty cool. This one here is kind of an interesting, unique design that's kind of my own little thing. Um, so I put chains in here for axles on the wheels and then I did a trapdoor up on top of that and then trapdoors like on the block below like this with some hay and of course a trapdoor in front. So there's that one. I like that one pretty well. It looks pretty cool. Then there's this guy. This one is, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> um, essentially it's like a little like merchant's cart. The merchant can maybe sit there on this little uh, seat right here. And then the trap doors are very interesting because these uh, two trap doors like that are uh, like in the block above. So like you can kind of see where they are there. And same thing on the front. So it almost looks like it has fenders. And then we have our wheels like this. The rest of the trap doors are at the, on the lower level so that we can put a couple of barrels in there. And then I also put a couple of these item frames on there. My idea was to put some actual items in there so that like, you know, this cart could pull up and maybe the person could, you know, sell their wares or whatever out of the barrels and display them with these little trapdoors or the um, item frames. This one here looks like kind of like a handsome cab. So it's supposed to be for passengers. So I'm using um, daylight sensors actually for seats on this one. So we have a seat, a seat like that. And then the floor is all trapdoors, the spruce ones. And then I have a couple of trapdoors facing up for a higher seat right here where the driver would sit. And then of course the horses are attached in front and we have our larger wheels. I like that one pretty well. I like that a lot. And then the very last one, number 20, is a covered, um, a fully covered like carriage thing. So I suppose maybe to get into it, it would be easier if the door opened the right way. But anyway, um, it's just a box made of trap doors like this. And then we kind of, I did that sort of fender idea where we have two trap doors sticking out here and two sticking out here for this. And then in the front, I have uh, just a couple of trap doors on top of two fence posts. And then I've actually got four horses attached to this. Of course, they're not standing in the right place. They all need to be standing in front of it, but horses, man. 
horses. Maybe if I hold some wheat or something, like a carrot. Like this. You guys want this? You guys like a carrot? No. <laughs> That's not working. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that uh, you like these 20. If there's any that you want to see more in detail or see like me do a tutorial on, I don't really think they need a tutorial. I think you could build it without um, without me showing you how to do it. But yeah, I hope you like these and I hope you give them a try in your world. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. Thank you very much for watching this little showcase of some things that I built. Appreciate it very much. If you want to see more stuff like this and more... Um, things like that, leave a comment below. I'd, I'd really like to know if you want more medieval-y type little builds and stuff like that to put in your world. Uh, and also you can sh leave a like and share and subscribe and all that stuff. That helps too. Anyways, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, beautiful day and God bless.